quick update on the SkyMasters Waterman aeroplane. As you can see, the wing, let me pan back a little bit, uh, the wing is just about done. We have our aileron right there. Just need a leading edge on the aileron. Uh, but very straightforward, not too difficult at all. And that opens, whoops, sorry, in that open section right here. Uh, that is where the, uh, they'll put in some glass. Um, and you can see I have to build the other aileron. But the wing itself is basically done. So for the most part. So now we just have to, once we get the wing finished and covered, and then we got to go ahead and start working on the, the struts. As you can see here. Some of these neat little devices I'm using right here to hold the plane in place are actually by a company called Retro RC. And they are fantastic. They use magnets. And you can see the way they work is you just push down here, move into a, into space, into a, oh, let me go like this, push down here, put it where you want it, and that little clamp or whatever holds the spar in place. We also have these little neat little ones right here. They also use magnets. And when you want to hold a piece of wood, you take it and you just put it like that, drop it, and there you go. And now it holds the wood in place. But they are by Retro RC. We also have these wing rib holders here. As you can see, and they come in different sizes. And they also use magnets as well. And you can just drop it right there. And they will hold ribs in place. Whoops. Oh, let me bring it over here. They will hold ribs in place. Let me see. I ah, got one over here. It will work. Just slide that right on there like so. And bam, it holds the ribs at a perfect 90 degree angle. And I can't recommend them enough. They are fantastic. And as you can see, I'm using a magnetic building board. And I mean to tell you, there is no better way to build a wing or a fuselage than using magnets. And they're fantastic. They really are. All right, more to come.